Good evening, good evening, uh, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for coming tonight on this most solemn of holidays. I see a lot of sad sack sinners out there. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good parish. It's a strong parish. Today's a celebration of sorrow, and by celebration I mean observation. And so we're going to observe a few things, we're going to listen to a few things. Uh, down the line I'm going to share a couple stories with you. My name is the Right Reverend Nicholas Littlehouse. Uh, I'm a part-time philosopher and tenured prophet. Uh, we're going to explore some ideas tonight, and more importantly we're going to listen to some music and we're going to feel what it feels like to just that rock gut heartbreak feeling that you get, right? We're gonna talk a little bit about love, which is also a rock gut shitty feeling sometimes. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the heart, but I don't really think the heart has much to do with it. I think it comes somewhere lower than that. Somewhere in the root chakra. That's why it's so easy to confuse your dick with your love muscle. <laughs> But they're not the same thing, they're not, and that's what leads to heartbreak, too. There are many roads to heartbreak. We're going to explore a few of them this evening. Uh, we, have, we have the house band tonight, the Broken Hearts Club, made up of members of the Water Witches. Let's hear it for them real quick. We have some very special guests tonight. Julia Martin is here. Wishbone is here. JJ Reed is here. They've all worked tirelessly and, and painfully to put a frown on your face this evening. Uh, and one of, one of the things we're going to learn tonight that I want to talk about briefly before uh, we begin is, is what heartbreak does to the artists. We're going to explore that a lot. Artists love heartbreak. I think, I think heartbreak creates artists or artists fake heartbreak. I'm not sure which. Uh, both happen quite often. Um, but, but the creators of the world, the, you know, the lefty, jobless freaks, the painters and the writers and the musicians, God forsake them, they love heartbreak, they feed off of it, they'll, they'll tell you that, that heartbreak is more important than happiness because it drives art and it drives creation. Uh, we're going to explore whether that's real or not, but let's see. Let's see, let's first take a, take a listen and take a minute and see what heartbreak's done to these artists. Thank you, you're in for some very special things this evening. Yeah. 